Good morning. Starting another video in the dark because it's about 50 minutes until sunrise and it's a pretty cloudy morning again. Uh, I'm at a place called Playa La Caleta and I'm setting up and doing my first shot in the dark, which is always fun. And I'll talk you through that in a minute. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Good morning everyone, thanks for joining me. I am at Playa La Caleta in Via Hayosa and uh, I photographed this place quite a few times but I decided to kind of creep around the bottom of a cliff here and I found some nice big rocks that are different to the big rock which is on the main beach that I photographed before. And I thought I'd set up and do a shot here. Um, it's a wide angle shot using one of the big rocks in the foreground which I'll try and show you in a minute and uh, we've already got some interesting looking tones just starting to appear in the sky. Whether that will last out or not, I don't know. I'm doing a four minute exposure, but I'm actually going to do two because I'm doing one focused on the foreground and one focused on the rock because the foreground is very close and I need to focus stack. So uh, in about eight minutes, or maybe a little bit longer, hopefully I'll have an image. Okay, so using a bit of light on the scene. This is the big rock, which is like my main feature. And uh, I don't know if you can see there's some quite nice colors over there in the sky. And I'm gonna go somewhere else in a minute to make better advantage of those, I think. And we've got kind of waves washing in around here. But obviously with the long exposure, they're gonna be blurry. Camera quite low down, wide angle lens cable release put the ISO at 125 to get the four minute exposure and this will be as I said a focus stack one image focused right in on the pebbles on the foreground and one focused on the rock That spot that I started out on, I'm going to keep it in mind for future shoots. I'm not sure it's ideal for this morning, but uh, maybe another time of year or even another time of day, that could be really nice. But I've come round onto the main beach at uh, Playa La Caleta, the big rock which sits kind of half in the water and half on the beach. And, and I'm going for a pretty simple shot. The big rock is kind of in the middle of the frame. Uh, with some nice tones just sitting over the back uh, and just above it so like the, the high point of the rock is up in the, the, sort of the glowing part of the sky and a moody sky up above. Um, I don't really want to use grads on this so I'm going to do two exposures probably one at about 30 seconds uh, to keep some shadow detail although I'm going to want this to be quite dark I think quite silhouette -y maybe just a bit of detail showing through and then another one maybe at about 10 seconds just to keep the uh, the detail in the sky
playing around with compositions here and I'm kind of struggling to get exactly what I want. I've got the, the telephoto lens on, 70mm, to kind of fill the frame a bit more with the rock, get a little bit of sea coming in from the bottom and get some nice tones. In the background is Benidorm Island and there's also a boat out there with a mast sticking up with a light on it, sort of in front of the nicely coloured part of the sky. Uh, and I can see the fish farm as well. Not 100% sure this composition is quite right. I might try moving a little bit to the left. Yeah, I think that's better. My first composition, the big rock was overlapping with the land coming in on the left-hand side of the frame. But moving around just a little bit has created that little bit of separation. So here's the rock. And here's the land coming in. My previous composition that was overlapping. And now I've got a little bit of separation. Benidorm Island is in the background there. And the boat and the fish farm, and they're all separate from the rock as well. Quite nice tones. Probably be a 16 by 9 crop. people coming in to swim or well, at least they're down here in like bathrobes or something just decided to do another one zoomed way in uh, Benidorm Island on the left the boat over on the right with the fish farm in the middle and then just the top of the rock kind of framing the bottom of the scene I'm going to focus stack this one focused on the boat and one focused on the rock got a very nice sky I want to try and get a bit more of that in I've put on my 50 mil prime lens to get a vertical orientation the rock is across the the lower part of the frame uh, I've still got some separation between the rock 
uh, Benidorm Island, the boat, the fish farm, and the land in the background. But I've now got some really nice sky in there that is colourful and textured and then kind of fades up into the, sort of the, uh, the blues as it goes higher up. And I think that looks pretty nice. I think what I'm going to want to do is try and capture some waves breaking around that rock. The sun's going to be coming up in right in the middle of the frame. As the sun's come up, it's, it's kind of washed that really nice colour and texture out of the sky now. Still beautiful, but I think I preferred it before the sun came up, as is so often the case. But there might actually even be two images there, one with the sun up and one you know, before the sun came up. So that could work out well. Well, I think that's the excitement over. The sun kind of broke through those clouds for a few minutes. Um, before that, we had that really nice sort of coloured and textured sky. But now the sun's gone back behind the clouds and I don't think it's going to be coming back out again anytime soon. It's still pretty, but I think the really the best of the morning is over. So it's probably time to think about packing up and heading for home. Hopefully, I've got a few nice images from this morning. Um, the only thing that I'm kind of regretting and uh, what I should have done is when I was doing some shots, particularly the, uh, the, the long telephoto shots with the boat in, I should have done one at a much faster exposure to really freeze the boat because I'm thinking it might have a little bit of motion blur in, but we'll see. It might be okay. It was, I don't know, what was it, a third of a second, half a second, so it might be okay. But either way, it will be an image. Like I said, I'm going to head for home now. It's time for coffee and breakfast. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, well, like, shares, comments, all really appreciated. If you've enjoyed this video and you're new here and you want to see more of my stuff, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. And as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. So thank you very much. And until the next video, bye. <laughs>